A bus fare hike might depend on the various routes. Omnibus operators recently made the case for an increase in public transportation fees given the global spike in crude oil, energy and fuel prices caused by the pandemic and Russia-Ukraine war. A committee was formed to revise the bus lobby, that is, the NCOPT's previous request for a rise in fees. Transportation Minister Stevenson King says the administration is in the process of deciding the scale of the fare hike. The proposals which were made in 2013-2015 thereabout speaks to a number of increases um, based on the routes. There are some long routes, there are some short routes, and there are routes more or less within the vicinity of castries. And so those recommendations will be presented to Cabinet and um, hopefully Cabinet will consider the basis for granting it and set the date for the award. There have been reports of some omnibus operators prematurely applying the proposed rates to the bus fares, a clear violation of the law. King, who weighed in on the issue, called on the public to alert law enforcement of such cases. He made it clear that an increase in public transportation fees has not been enacted. Well, they are breaking the law and if they are indeed, the transport department is to inform the police and to make the necessary arrests. So nobody is supposed to be charging more than... No one is supposed to be charging anything more than what is now the established rates for public transportation. They need to wait on the publication of the SI. It's only after it is published it becomes law. You cannot take the law into your hand. The transport minister urges drivers to bear patience and allow the process to take its course. Uh, what went to cabinet was the decision to grant them an increase. What is going now is the magnitude of the, the increase based on the analysis done by the Department of Finance and the Department of Infrastructure Transport. So they still have to wait? Uh, they need to wait because there's a process. The process is not just to announce it. Cabinet has to look at it, examine it, and take a cabinet decision. Then there must be a, an SI to be published, and then the necessary um, to follow. The authorities have stated that a scientific process will help determine the new fares. The adjustments to the fees will take into account the impact on ordinary St. Lucians who are already facing skyrocketing inflationary prices of basic goods and services. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.